So let's start with GQB goes open. Um, going to start with the, the name of this uh, this project. GQB means simply a Byzantine quarter of Gartins, and Wiki is just our way to work. Uh, the project uh, actually the excavation started in 2002, 2001, uh, and uh, we decided in 2005 to use uh, a Wiki system. Uh, in our excavation in, in Gartins in Crete, um, just as our platform for uh, collected documentation and uh, all the archaeological excavation process and all the research projects. So, uh, the, at the time, we just needed a place, uh, a, collabor a collaborative platform uh, that was online, had, was uh, accessible from anywhere for all the team members of uh, the the excavation the excavation team and so we start to, to use it uh, actually the project um, of the excavation is uh, was involved in the research about the the end of the ancient world and especially the end of the ancient city uh, in this case Gartin in Crete uh, very focused so in the late antique uh, phase of the city and in the late antique phase of the Mediterranean area and especially the East Mediterranean area, and um, so um, GQB Wiki is not just um, simply um, the collection of the uh, data from the excavation, like uh, the, uh, stratigra the stratigraphy or stuff like that. Is uh, more the um, the collection of all the research project about the excavation and about our main subject of research that is the, the end of the, uh, the late antique, the, the end of the classical city and um, uh, the ancient world. We decided to um, use MediaWiki, that is actually the same software of Wikipedia developed by the Wikimedia Foundation, uh, because it's an active uh, software and is um, people just keep working on it and uh, to uh, upload new version of it so it's, it's quite a safe, uh, safe uh, kind of software to use it and because it works in PHP and MySQL so uh, like uh, in some way like a database and because it was free and was uh, an open uh, software so uh, it has a very low economic impact in uh, the research project so it, it reveals like a very fortunate choice for us and here we have the main page of our wiki, and um, I don't know if you want to <laughs> yeah. explain more okay. deeply. Okay. Move uh, onwards, and you see this is the home page. And until today, everybody was able just to see this home page. And but now we're, 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 we're taking the chance of this session and this presentation to open it up to, to everyone. And uh, as uh, Alessandro said, uh, uh, we're just putting together different types uh, at different levels of data. So there's excavation data, there's interpretive documentation, and there's uh, a lot of stuff that's actually very similar to what Andy explained before us. So we kind of repeating a lot of a lot of a lot of things, and it's not perhaps uh, an accident that the ideas behind these two projects started more or less in the same in the same period uh, now one thing we, we don't want to 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 be doing is to try and convince anyone that this is the best choice for archiving or re recording your your excavation or your research data we know uh, we know from experience that this system has limitations and that it's imperfect and furthermore, that our use of it is imperfect. So it's not imperfect by definition, perhaps, but it's certainly imperfect in practice. Uh, perhaps the, the, the strongest limitation that we've hit, and also the, 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 that referees wanted to, to know more about uh, when we submit the abstract, was about uh, uh, like special data, site plans, context plans, uh, which is something that uh, MediaWiki doesn't handle at all. So uh, we're kind of uh, uh, having a, a very different situation from, say, the normal site archive where the excavation data is all together with alphanumeric records, context sheets, photographs, and plans 
and then the interpretive uh, part of, of, the, of the project is on its own. Here instead we have uh, the interpretation inside the excavation data, but uh, the, the context plans and so on are separate, or just they are rendered as static images, uh, which of course will make some food for discussion. Uh, okay, now we, we, we use this kind of buzzword that is not uh, much fashionable anymore in archaeology, but this is definitely a multivocal knowledge base in that every single page is the result of many people editing and uh, so uh, creating content on top of someone else's work. So uh, just because this is the same system as Wikipedia, everybody will be familiar with the ability to go and see the history of each page to see uh, what uh, people added or removed from a page at a certain point and how much time has passed <coughs> since the last time a page was updated uh, and so on and who has contributed what in, in, in the end. Um, so, uh, as I said, we were kind of doing this uh, huge step and it's a huge step because uh, instead of waiting and uh, doing kind of parallel release of a print book and a digital archive where we wanted really to uh, try and get some feedback about this digital archive before uh, the companion book arrives. Uh, so it's there, it's open, uh, and unfortunately for those of you who are used to uh, edit Wikipedia pages, this is not open for editing because we, we couldn't manage uh, the enthusiasm of, uh, of people wanting to edit our archive, which, which is fine, I mean, I don't think this is normally done, but it will be cool, of course, to have people like uh, being able to comment or perhaps say, this is wrong, this is the wrong interpretation for the structure, this pot or this coin, why not? That is not they can see it and they can tell us. Yeah, they <laughs> can, but it becomes indirect, so on. Yeah. So we have, yeah, this is uh, uh, the, some kind of uh, summary of all the entries that we have, and we wanted to like to, to give you examples of course our static graphic units, context finds, but also journal entries that have a kind of uh, central role, and they are, I think, the, the basic uh, 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 narrative atom for for getting inside the documentation. So you can start instead of looking at a huge list of contexts. You start by looking at the excavation diary and see what was done on a certain day, what was the interpretation on a certain day, and then it changes the next day because it's uh, warmer, or I don't know, things that happen in Mediterranean archaeology, definitely. But we also have pages about ourselves because uh, we're kind of documenting the, the process of documentation. And, uh, so we have, for example, information about who uh, excavated a certain feature, and so we kind of become part of the data, and we try to make this kind of explicit. And of course, we have bibliographic re references, and, and ultimately, well, ideas is a bit mm, generic as a term, but yes, uh, uh, kind of places where uh, there's an incubation period for what will be in the print book at the end of the of the process. So these are like other numbers are many many internal links. So that the kind of things that uh, Andy w w was saying about ARC is is, uh, is native. It's kind of their uh, raison d'etre for for wikis not to be able to link any page to any other page without any limitation. So I can, it's a uh, it's just a hypertext. It was. Uh, Fancy already in the, in the 90s, I think. Uh, so, uh, but it, the, the, the consequence, uh, which can be good or bad depending on on your on, on your passions, uh, is that at times the data, if you want to, to call this this collection, if you want to call it data, is that it can be very raw, not just in a technical sense of formats and usability, but it's also very raw in terms of this day I was grumpy and the journal is very short and uninformative because that, that's what happened. 
And uh, the other thing is that uh, if you come and look at this archive from the point of view of some of like uh, again a traditional uh, structured archive, this is going to be very confusing because wikis have no predefined structure, and basically you define structure adding content. So you 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 add structure. Uh, creating pages that direct people towards certain lists of things or towards certain paths of navigation, just like an hypertext again. Uh, uh, the structure of, of a wiki is, like by definition, flat. And of course, this uh, is uh, exciting on an intellectual level, like every bit of information has the same theoretical importance inside the documentation system, in practice uh, it's, it's not very useful. So we need to create structure. But the good thing is that uh, there's no separation between structure and data. So they're, they're kind of the same thing, which also uh, brings problems. Like for example, a wiki, uh, despite being based on a database, so PHP, MySQL, blah, 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 is not a database, so it's not a place to make structured queries. It's not a place to make queries like select uh, from uh, where and uh, all, all the kind of things. Uh, initially, we're kind of, yeah, anarchy in Crete, uh, it's gonna be awesome, but it, it, in the end, it, it turned out, it, it turns out it, it doesn't work. So we needed to bring more structure to this VT. Uh, when we had already a substantial amount of, of documentation inside, so we, we thought it was not practical to move away to something different, especially because it took some time for the entire team to become acquainted with the inner working of the system. Still uh, now. Sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still a problem. Okay. And so basically we added this uh, thin uh, ontology layer, which is initially uh, was not done for the purpose of adding anything like semantic or whatever, but uh, it uses semantic uh, tools, semantic media wiki, so it's a plugin for, uh, for media wiki. And it, of course it gives us a, uh, the possibility of doing queries like, uh, yeah, show me all the photographs of this uh, deposit at the bottom of the page. And please do this for all pages that represent stratigraphic context and so on. But, which are I mean, normal things if you work on the uh, database side of things. So it's something that tools like ARC, of course, do normally. Uh, so we have to, to do it the other way around. But the good thing is that uh, instead we, we we started using a tool that was natively on web. Uh, okay, I'll I'll put it bluntly, but b before it was cool, and before we, we even knew it was cool, for example, to add a URI, a unique URI for every single item, for every single find, for every single stratigraphic context. Now we know that this is a possibility for doing other things that well, we're mostly not doing, but the possibility is that it is open and the system allows us to, to do certain things. Uh, so this is, for example, a very uh, simple uh, query of, uh, of pages for stratigraphic contexts that uh, are linked to rooms. So rooms are kind of our basic working unit. And it's very, it's very simple, uh, really. Of course, you will notice that all the data inside is is in Italian, which is, uh, I mean, our project is is not a, in an international team, so we're all Italians. We work in Italian. Uh, actually, I I wonder, and maybe it could be discussed if it's really necessary to translate stuff in English, so machines can read it, or if we can like, teach machines to read also things in other, in other languages. Uh, and here you see, for example, uh, the, the, the bottom part of one uh, context page, where you have various types of these, uh, uh, these properties, uh, so uh, let's say facts, and look here, 
beautiful stuff. You can even have an RDF representation of the state. Uh, of course, this is not uh, truly linked to open data because it miss, it's missing a, a crucial part of it. So that there are no links to, to other archives, to other linked open data. But we may be uh, doing this uh, in the future. We, we certainly have the technical possibility of, of doing this. And the second uh, uh, part uh, of, of the problems we, 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 we encountered in, during the years has little to do with the technicalities of publishing on the web, of choosing formats, and of uh, uh, having uh, like uh, neat tools to work with our data, and more with, with with the idea that this wiki is, uh, uh, first of all, uh, the recording of a research process. And uh, inside of this research process, there's an archaeological excavation, there's a site archive, and so on. Uh, so uh, for example, how do we manage uh, the fact that uh, people can contribute and edit pages uh, like quite randomly? Uh, or people can uh, f mm, uh, have the name in, in the list of the authors for a certain page, even when they have just simply digitized a paper context sheet of written by someone else. Uh, or, for example, the fact that uh, certain information, like uh, when I uh, finish studying an assemblage for, from a context and I put a date on a context, well, this could be said to be a more important contribution than, I don't know, the list of how many pot shirts there were in the context. Um, and also, uh, because this is a long-running project, as any other big excavation, there are people who just came for one year and made little contributions and then went away. And there are people like myself, or Alessandro, or uh, Enrico Zanini, who contributed a lot of uh, edits to, to these pages. Um, another thing that could happen, potentially, once all this content is on, is on the web, is, is peer review. So uh, we think that especially uh, our colleagues who work in, uh, in Gortina, our colleagues who work on Mediterranean cities in the late peak period, our colleagues who are interested in uh, digital archiving may have something to say about the way what it thinks or about uh, uh, the content of uh, some of our, of our wiki. But to be honest, we don't expect this to happen, at least not on a large scale, because uh, everybody is already quite busy with their own data. And so we're kind of opening it uh, in the hope that uh, in the future th this will become more common, but at the same time uh, we struggle ourselves to do our kind of internal review of content because we know that there is content that is uh, outdated, there is content that is uh, missing. Uh, so if you take a look, you'll see that uh, for example, many contexts where uh, the digitization of site plans is not finished and so on. Uh, it's working problems. And another like issue that is perhaps useful uh, for, for for discussion is uh, is that of attribution. So there's people who spent some time working on, on this, and and perhaps it's normal for like students to have just their name written on first footnote of a book. Yeah, we thank all the students who came in uh, 2009 and participated in the excavation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but in this case, these people, uh, whatever their level of commitment, uh, actually created these, uh, the digital representation of, of this data. So, and some, are, some, some of these people are still creating. This is not uh, something that is finished. It's still going on. It will go on, I don't know. For, for too long, probably. <laughs> uh, but we're taking inspiration from an initiative like Fair Sites uh, to actually try and uh, uh, put uh, people uh, 
at the center of, of this uh, documentation. So it's very easy. You just go at the bottom of the page and you see a list of all those who made a contribution to that page. Important, <coughs> not important. You can go to the page of every user of, of the wiki and look what they contributed and perhaps guess also what their interests are or what their uh, master's thesis was about and, and, and so on. Uh, this also brings uh, kind of interesting problems uh, um, forward because uh, we have in some cases used uh, like bots to do massive edits to change uh, the same string in a thousand pages and who are we going to attribute these, uh, these edits to? I mean is GQBot uh, one of the authors of our work? Uh, but this is certainly a kind of joke perhaps but uh, it may help also to reflect about how much work is done by us and how much work is uh, like uh, prepared by us for a computer, a bot, a script to, uh, to be done. Uh, so this, these are two examples of kind of attribution for, for the wiki content. So you see names uh, and the actual text is based on contribution by myself, Enrico Zanini and Elisa Triolo. And of course, this is a web page. Uh, wiki pages can be cited by uh, permanent links. So you can cite and be sure that you're citing that version that you're seeing uh, at that time. And if the page later changes, someone who follows this link will see the, the old page. And so we'll see what you were citing, but we'll also see that the content has been updated in the meantime. And um, so I think we run already uh, over time, but uh, GQWiki is open and is there, so we look forward to your feedback, if any. <laughs>